to all the elves watching our video. Welcome to our Q&A video. We've been really excited to do this for you guys. If you don't already know who we are, we are the Five Enchantresses from the Universal Elven Society. And let's get started, okay? Um, when taking an elvish name, do you change your name on your Facebook profile or do you make another, el another separate one? I have a name from the Silver Elves that I want to announce on, announce on the page soon, but I wanted to ask this question first. Mm -hmm. So I think that um, I, we like to, we, we made our own separate ones, um, mm -hmm. like away from yeah. every everything else, just yeah. because from I our didn't, private life. yeah from our from our private yeah. life, just because this is something that we wanted to be more all in it. Um, yeah, we wanted yeah. to be all yeah. in yeah. it, yeah. Mm -hmm. and we didn't want all the other stuff to mm -hmm. like. Get in, the way. Um, get in the way of it. Yeah. So uh, we made separate ones, and so we. I barely even it's get on my other ones. Yeah. yeah. And we want to be recognized by our elven names. Yeah. 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 By the people that you know. Yeah. Cool. It's much more simple and yeah. like a better way just to connect and not have everything else just like yeah. up in Facebook. You think so. That's how we feel. That like how we truly yeah. are. Yeah. Right. So yeah. that's what we like to do. Yeah. But I mean, we have a lot of people on our group who do keep their personal account. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, they both. Mm -hmm. They still host on the Elven Society. And yeah, mm -hmm. a part and of it. I honestly like love it when somebody gets on and they're like, "Oh, you used to know me as so and so, but yeah, now so I'm this." Yeah, I honestly love that. I think it's great. It's so. yeah. yeah, I just feel like you connect more with your Elven self that way, just yeah. because yeah. it's not right. clogged with all the other stuff. So. Anyway. And picking an Elven name is so I. I yeah. love how people the really want that really creative meaning, creative. Yeah. Like meaning yeah. and they're creative with yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. What kind of battle attire do you prefer? Light armor to move better, or metal heavier armor for your, more protection? Mm -hmm. Well, since I'm in the mountain region and my um, element is metal, we like to have um, more of like a heavier, like warriors. Like um, my warriors have like heavier metal more metal attire on them. Yeah. As in, like I, me as an enchantress though, um, we like to have like lighter stuff. Kind of lighter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like we move like, better. Um, yeah. And yeah. Yeah. yeah, we keep the, um, the heavier stuff to the uh, guards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We watch over the region and everything, but the mimin kind of take the brunt of the battle. And yeah. Yeah. yeah, so they need, they need the heavier armor. Yeah. The next one is, can the Enchantresses do a YouTube on a meal they cook for their families? Maybe share a couple of recipes. Ooh, I actually wanted to post recipes for you guys, um, which is coming soon, but I wanted to post a dressing recipe from my garden and soon some beauty products that are very natural. But those are coming soon, I'm not gonna spoil it. <laughs> Yeah, that would actually be really fun if we could all get together and do that sometime. Yeah, we should. Yeah. No yeah. promises, but uh -huh. we'll try. We'll try. <laughs> yeah. What is each of the Enchantress's favorite meal? Mm -hmm. um, for me, I love um, quinoa salad. I make my own. I, I could probably share the recipe, um, but I make. I do it with quinoa, kale, um, a, a vegetarian, um, no dairy mm -hmm. um, dressing. Um, I put, I can put some, sometimes I put eggs, sometimes I don't, but yeah, I just kind of get whatever I have in the fridge and put yeah. it in there, so. Yeah, that sounds yeah. good too. Yeah. I eat a lot of veggies. I don't think I can narrow it down to one meal, but I eat a lot of veggies mm -hmm. and a lot of fruit in my mm -hmm. daily life. Yeah. Also, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I try and stay away from like sugar, but I do do a lot of fruit sugar. As an elf, I think we all eat pretty clean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. It's, it makes you feel so much like better, like as a person yeah. and just, yeah. Just more with nature that way when you're eating more food. Yeah. yeah. I love to you go um, grow my own food. Yeah, hey, you guys want some? <laughs> you want no, okay. Okay, so. <laughs> and my favorite meal would be um, a salad fresh from my garden with a homemade basil dressing, which I'm gonna share with you guys. So that would yeah. be my favorite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think when you eat cleaner too, it's like it. You feel better, like but being yeah. being an elf, you know. And your mind, you can, can, I feel like you can even connect more, just like not having like anything like that yeah. in your system. Yeah. yeah. So, mm -hmm. which enchantress protects Portland, Oregon? Am I here, and is it my job now? So yes, it is your job now. So um, it's not that an an, an enchantress um, protects like specific yeah. places like that. Um, we protect the you know we're here for the regions. Um, so if you're in a certain spot in, in Oregon, protect that spot and you know be one with nature yeah. in that area. Yeah. I mean, 
even if you don't live like in your um, region, yeah, it's real. It's good to protect what's around you because yeah. um, mm -hmm. we're we're a part of all yeah. nature, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, nature, nature all around us is is yeah. what we need to protect. Yeah, that's why it's so important that we're making this call and everything to the elves. Yeah, because right. yeah. elves are responsible for protecting yeah. nature. Right. We all work yeah. together yeah. for the same purpose. So. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, um, protect Portland, Oregon. Yes, yeah. it's it's your duty. How many of you live out in nature or spend a lot of time in your region's nature? Um, mm -hmm. I live in the desert region and I live away from the city. Um, I, I love to spend as much time as I can outside and mm -hmm. in nature. I mean, go on walks. I think that we all do. Like, yeah. yeah, we do. We, yeah. We're always, we're always uh -huh. outside yeah. every chance we get. Uh -huh. Just like I said, I always love to go hiking, anything to do with nature. And we just all, we all, you know, sometimes go together. Yeah. And just, do we live in our regions? No. no. <laughs> I love is um, being able to see the stars at night. Right. Yeah. That is something that yeah, I love. Really cool. yeah. 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 yeah, that's probably the best thing it, about being out here. Yeah, because I mean, we, um, I used to live in the city, and it was—I mean, you can, even when I visit, I hate it because at night I love to go outside. Yeah, and yeah. you can't see anything in the city, so. Yeah, yeah. But. and even visiting your region a lot, even if you can't live in it, mm -hmm. if you just visit it and do activities in it, yeah. it just and makes you feel more touch. connected. Yeah. yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I think that concludes our Q&A. Okay. So. so like and subscribe to the, our channel. Go follow our Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so yeah. much you for so much. Yeah. your questions, your support, yeah. Yeah. everything. We're really happy we could do this for you guys. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> Dive into the video. I liked how you involved your region. That was great.